In his fourth conversation with the Israeli Prime Minister since the current violence began, U.S. President Joe Biden said he expected a significant and immediate de-escalation on a path to a ceasefire. It was the most assertive language toward Israel publicly used by the White House, but it was clearly rebuffed as the bombardment of Gaza continued. The Israeli leadership understands that this is ultimately a bluff, that there's not going to be action put where there are only words, and therefore they are, cre they are completely free to carry on with their massive assault against Gaza civilian population. That is absolutely devastating. The United States has so far resisted international pressure to join other world leaders in calling for an immediate ceasefire, despite pressure also building from within. In Washington, liberal members of Biden's own party urged the U.S. to take a stronger stance. I believe we must stand in solidarity with those Palestinians and Israelis working to build a future of equality and peaceful coexistence and not with the intolerant extremists on either side who wish to destroy that future. In this moment of crisis, the United States should be urging an immediate ceasefire. A group of Democratic members of Congress introduced a House resolution calling for the U.S. to halt the sale of $735 million in guided missiles to Israel. Representative Rashida Tlaib tweeted, no more weapons to kill children and families enough. And Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez wrote, the United States should not be rubber stamping weapon sales to the Israeli government as they deploy our resources to target international media outlets schools, hospitals, humanitarian missions, and civilian sites for bombing. We have a responsibility to protect human rights. The resolution to block the arms sales to Israel is non-binding and unlikely to advance in Congress, where support for Israel among Republicans and many Democrats remains strong. But among liberals, the growing sense that Israel should be held to account and U.S. support cannot be unconditional. Heidi Joe Castro, Al Jazeera, Washington.